from something. Okay, I mean, so contact. I, mean, I get complete mm -hmm. total contact all over the whole thing. <clears throat> Shannon said what? Movement. Movement. So what's the, what's the advantage of this over uh, maybe paraffin? Where we? How many of you guys have ever done your stuck your hands in the paraffin? We haven't mm -hmm. done that yet, but. So mm -hmm. now you got to hold your hand still. You dip it, you dip it, you dip it. Now you got this glove of wax on your hand. You're just going to hold it still. Mm -hmm. So it's it's advantage over heat. A hot moist pack is total contact, but now I can't do anything with it. So we use this a lot of times with active exercise. I want this person warmed up, and I want to actively exercise. The other other time I use this is when patient has like a hypersensitivity. We use it to try to desensitize things. So it's like putting your hand in a dry whirlpool almost. Or your, mm -hmm. you know, same kinds of things you would use a whirlpool for, but you want to keep them dry. The other nice thing about this is um, I can put you in this one, and then I can stick my hand in this one and reach in there and maybe stretch you while you're working. Mm -hmm. So the key to this thing is one is you don't want to make a big mess. So this thing needs to be always velcroed when it's not in use. <laughs> Keep things out of it. So we've got our little sleeve and we're going to stick your hand way up in there. Way up in there. And then I'm going to use this to velcro it so it doesn't get crazy. I want to see if you can get it to run here. No, what's the problem with it is. So on the back, I can set temperature, airspeed. I can try to preheat it. I preheated it, but it's, is it warm? It's a little warm, yeah. Yeah, it's 115 degrees right now. Let's see if I can get it to run. Oh. <laughs> what it's doing is it's blowing that stuff up and it's not it's more it's more like having your hand in water in it than something that thick. It's more of a liquid feeling medium yeah. when it's actually working. Ooh, I like it. I like it. Yeah. It feels like water. Yeah. It's weird. Yeah. Yeah. So now she I might have her be doing some opposition or rolling her hand back and forth or lay wide and down close. As a clinician, I might actually use this one and stick my hand in there. And so now I can get in there with her and stretch her fingers while she's doing activities. Maybe I need to, I don't know why I'll have to check my circuits. It worked fine this morning when I came in here to use it. Then the only thing coming out is making sure I don't make a big huge mess coming out. I need to make sure that's well screwed up. I'll try to kind of brush her off as she comes out. So that gets up in there? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Randy, what would be the purpose of putting like larger soft objects in there? Manipulation. We'll, okay. uh, we'll do, you can check stereognosis. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> but it's usually a manipulation thing to get their hand doing functional activities. So squeezing and strengthening while you're warmed up. Well, I had that, but they had me do a tennis ball thing right. to simulate so the muscle. But they also had one session where they put like these little round kind of ball looking things in there. Like, and they just randomly kind of, was that for like nerve stimulation? I would guess that that was for desensitization. Okay. back of this thing, if I look at the back of this thing, I should be able to preheat it, which is what I was doing when you guys came in, and then this button changes what my screens tell me, so that's treatment time, I should have treatment time, mm -hmm. the temperature inside the thing is 115 degrees, the air speed, 
50 watts. I honestly don't know what that means. Um, I can make it pulse, but I usually just leave it running. And then preheat. Is it really 12 o'clock? Mm -hmm. yeah. And then there's directions down here.